good morning y'all what's good what's popping welcome back to the channel and we are launching the prep diary series alongside the other prep series so we got we got a lot of stuff going on on this channel Welcome, I'm Britt Inez, fitness coach, wellness athlete, content creator, and we're just gonna go through what's going on in my prep life this week. Today is Monday, April 8th. It's a new start to the week. I will post here exactly where I'm at in terms of countdowns for my shows. But I'm feeling really good. I got a cardio increase last week, and, but you know what? I'm not gonna complain because a lot of you guys are much newer to my prep life. When I first started out, I was in bikini, y'all, 2009. At the time, I remember going through my first nationals prep as a bikini competitor, and uh, I wasn't going to nationals. I had a horrible rebound, y'all. Horrible. Horrible. Like, to the point where I can distinctly remember. So at the time, I was up in Chicago, and I was a trainer. And the route that I would drive home I passed by like all these restaurants, like all these restaurants I passed by. And I remember it was one night after that show, <laughs> I was driving home from the gym and I stopped by at least three, four spots on the way home, okay? So anyway, I was living my best fit duty fantasy life at the time, had a horrible rebound. So all that to say, when it was time for me to start prep again, then four hours of cardio, that was what was programmed to me. And that's a huge reason why I was done bodybuilding for so long because I'm, I'm telling y'all when you get to the point when you're doing four hours of cardio a day you really start thinking about a lot of stuff in your life okay it's a lot of reflection that goes on during four hours and it's only so much YouTube content you can watch and back then like we weren't doing all this sharing our journey sharing our stories like connecting in this kind of way you will never hear me complain on this on this diary series or any series of me you watch about doing more cardio because I know I will never get <laughs> to the max that I have ever gone to. So we ain't gonna complain about doing 35 minutes. So today we are starting off with cardio. I'm gonna see how I feel in terms of being able to lift here. So I just trained legs Saturday. It was a really good workout. And after that, a couple of my girlfriends, we went to this trap karaoke event, which was a vibe. the whole vibe it was fun but we were on our feet for like five hours straight so i think between the leg day posing that my back's tired y'all tired like the detergent so i am going to do some stretching this morning because i just can tell my body needs it before i beat it up all again this week yesterday was a full rest day i definitely needed that and i definitely needed this essence salt bath i try to get at least three of these in a week all right, y'all. It is officially one of my favorite times of day, which is my favorite meal time. Ezekiel cereal, which is good because that's fiber in it. You don't get it, I don't get a ton of it because it's very dense, but that I don't do oatmeal. I don't know. I know it's uncommon for a bodybuilder to not like oatmeal, but I can't do it. I have a texture aversion. I can't do it. They have a new flavor out, so I wanted to try this out because y'all know if it's one thing that girl loves, it is her donut. So I'm gonna do a little taste test, see how. I like this. I already know that with this protein, I won't be cooking with it. If you guys followed my last prep vlog, you'll remember I did a lot of mug cakes just to help with my sweet tooth. So for now, I've been going with proteins that I don't necessarily have to worry about cooking with. And Dimatize is really good if I'm just mixing it with something else. So I'm gonna try this one out. Let me know in the comments, have y'all tried this one out? And let's get this meal popping. <music>
off. This is it. I'm gonna call this like a little donut, look at that. I don't tend to add a lot of water when I use a diamond ties because this alone, it tends to be a bit more on the watery side. It's not as thick as like devotion that I've used. Um, I think I've added a little bit too much, but this is what we're gonna rock with tonight. So I'm going to enjoy and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is time for coffee. You will notice very quickly on this prep blog diary that I don't talk about my weight often. I know a lot of people check their weight first thing in the morning. And since we're all new here um, and new to this prep, every prep is different, every coach is different, I do not track my weight. I know that is very unconventional with what a lot of people say. My coach has very strong opinions <laughs> on not tracking weight. I have not worked with my current coach for about a year now. He don't know what I weigh. I mean, he, he's good at what he does. He could probably eyeball me and see, maybe, maybe, but he don't know what I weigh, y'all. He don't care, I don't care. So we're not starting off our day checking our weight. All that to say that. But we are starting our day off with faster cardio. So I'm getting ready to get ready to go do cardio. So you guys know I have been using Squeeze and Skinny's products for years, uh, years, y'all. Like. 2019 type years. That's how long I have been using their stuff. Um, if you guys have questions about it, let me, let me, let me open this real quick because this is the problem. So this is their seaweed wrap. I only use this when I am cutting. I do not use this year round. There's just no need to, and it just helps to lose even more water around my core. And listen, I ain't saying we we watery, but we gotta make sure we, we pull every we using everything we got to get what we wanna get, okay? This is what I do. So I wear this and then I also go and you'll see me put on my waist trainer here in a bit. And we'll get out this door. That's how it looks for me. Give me a little. First layer done. Then we just have waist trainer. Um, I am now where I'm going in between these two. I have, uh, this is like the old one that I had. And then the bestie Aurelia um, kind of accidentally gifted me a new one because she ordered one and didn't fit. So I have, I wear the other one that I have the newer one and smaller one during the day. So that way this one can be worn during cardio. It gets sweaty. I ain't putting back on a sweaty waist trainer. If y'all out there do it, no judgment, but that's just not in my path. So this is how I get them to rock. Y'all, so I recently had to buy some new cardio shoes. Like listen, the shoes that I had, they were starting to look toe up to the floor. So this is my first time trying this brand. Let me know in the comments, like y'all favorite cardio shoe. I tried some New Balances, had to send them back. Those were just not the move. At least the ones that I ordered were not quite doing it. So I have been really liking these. So I think I'm gonna end up getting these in a couple more colors. I am a lemon water girly in the morning. I talk all about why I do it. Uh, if you guys wanna see that, I'll link it somewhere somewhere here we ain't talking about that today you guys i recently started taking when i say recently let me let me that kid it hasn't been like a month it's been like several months i started testing and taking out legions forge pre-workout fat burner so i have worked in their stuff um into my daily i really like this i really like it a lot uh, i have it was designed to take as your pre-workout fat burner so that as you are burning you also are not cutting into your muscle mass. As you know, when we are in prep, it's one of those things we want to maintain. Even my lifestyle client girlies who are just training to look good, feel good, all that, they take it too. Um, Cause they y'all, we ain't trying to, all this work, we, we try to make sure we keep all we got. Um, so I have been taking that um, and I'll do a little lemon water. So 
but I'm also that weirdo that likes tart and stuff too. So let me just kind of purse it at. So if we all start asking, ain't that sour? I like it, y'all. I like it. Um, so yeah, so after cardio today, I'm gonna be training Ellie. You guys have seen her on my channel. Um, but we train virtually 99.99% of the time. I was just in Austin that day. And then I'll come back, get into some stretching, vacuums, posing, and then later on today, we'll go back around too. Big shout out to everyone that works from home, y'all. I am so blessed to be able to have flexibility in my day to fit in the things I need to do and manage my energy. I don't think people talk enough in prep about not just time management, but energy management, because the reality is, I don't know about y'all, but my energy levels, they, they, they do not hit the same towards the end of my night. So I try to stack as much as I can earlier in the day and i take full advantage of this work from home schedule so it is not uncommon for me to break up cardio in between the gym in the morning go back downstairs to my apartment gym finish back up come back up do some core and posing in between meetings cook in between meetings like I, I really try to look at what are the things that i need to do to make my week my day runs smoother and how can I get those things done while I'm doing other stuff? So I will habit stack like crazy. And I think that's one of the things that helps me manage all this that I do have going on so much, even though I'm living in a world of post -it notes, but we're gonna talk more about that a little bit later. I got about an hour in between meetings, so I'm gonna start some bone broth. You guys, this is how I start the bone broth that you guys see me using each week when I talk about it on Instagram stories here and there. I'll probably end up doing a whole video on it. Let me know in the comments if you guys want more info about that, but I am gonna be knocking out some of my protein sources. So I always recommend cooking protein in bulk. Anytime I cook protein, I don't cook any less than four pounds of it at one time. I just know how much I need to have on hand and I feel protein is one of those things where it takes the longest to prep and when you don't have it prepped, it's the biggest inconvenience. Let me know if y'all agree with that in the comments. These are some of my seasonings that I use. Listen, I am all about my food not tasting like sandpaper, y'all. I can't live this lifestyle and not like what I'm eating. So I will experiment with different seasoning combinations. I'm really feeling this one. I eat 96.4 beef daily in my diet. This is one of my favorite beef blends that I've been using and experimenting with. And y'all, I like to switch it up. So a lot of times I feel people complain about eating the same stuff over and over. And while yes, it is repetitive, I do feel like you have options on how you choose to prep your food and you can choose to put a little bit more into it to give a little razzle dazzle, okay? So I'll probably do a whole on like meal prep, vlog, something, somewhere in this series. And for all my chicken lovers out there, check out this seasoning combo blend, y'all. Chef's kiss. Morning, y'all. We are in the middle of Lefe's being beat. Um, y'all went to the nail shop last night. She did what she wanted to do. I'm not happy. I really wanted the color to be kind of like what you see on my shirt. And I don't know what happened. It looked different on the little nail thing. It just, I'm, I'm looking at these nails this morning. I'm like, mm, I ain't feeling these today. But it's all good. We're going to still have a great day. Um, so I'm getting ready now to go ahead to the gym. Uh, I train legs every Wednesday. It's like my Wednesday thing. And this morning I'm going to be meeting V, Vanessa. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I'll link all that here. You guys have seen her. 
Um, not only are we friends, like not only are we besties, but she does all of my content stuff, like content shooting majority, like 98%. She does all of it. So we're going to be doing some content stuff this morning in the gym. Um, it's going to be like a full leg day thing. So one of the things that I didn't realize that a lot of people don't talk about is kind of like content creation stuff. So you guys know I am a content creator, fitness coach, wellness athlete. And that being said, just to be consistent, like one of the things that has allowed me to do all this is to have like a system in place where I'm able to be consistent, like with the content that I'm putting out and planning. It takes a lot, a lot of planning. But one of the things that's been the biggest lifesavers has been batching it. So anytime you guys hear me say, oh, I'm shooting content, I am typically shooting like multiple pieces of content for like weeks at a time at one time and it just really helps y'all especially like I don't do this full time so I have to find ways to make the most out of the time that I have and yeah I'm all we all about efficiency over here so the color today is purple as you can see I was I don't want to do a full on like heavy purple eyelid and all that that's that's a whole lot to be going into somebody's gym at seven in the morning but i did want to do a little bit of little some something, something um and let's see what else i did some client check-in stuff this morning i promise y'all it's gonna blend right now she looking like oof she look a little pink uh i promise y'all it's gonna blend I'm doing some this some client stuff this morning um, and I got a lot of my flight stuff squared away yesterday, y'all. So I'm pretty excited about it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, we all know prep is coming. Like, we all know the show is coming. But I feel like it starts to feel like, oh, we actually, like, getting there. When you start booking flights, you start doing all of that, like, it's, it's there. So yesterday, got flight booked for Universe. So took care of all of that because there's not a lot of direct flights from here to there. And I ain't trying to be doing nobody's connecting and layover at all. You hear me I'm trying to get to this venue. Although I fly in pretty early, y'all will see all that. Um, I wanted to take care of that early on or earlier on. So that's already done and squared away because we, we're trying to minimize all things of stress that we possibly can. So the next thing is going to be for me to work on my suit. So I've been, um, I already know the design I'm going to go with for this one. For so many reasons, won't be wearing the suit that I wore last time I competed. So the orange, the yellow, though I got some compliments on it. I won't be wearing that. So that'll be like the next thing. I don't know if I'll do that in this episode. I actually might wait and do that later. That'll be the next prep logistics I have to figure out. And yeah, I'll pop back on when the face is done. Say hey, baby. Actually, I think we should turn over here where we have a uh, um, Happy Thursday. Happy check-in day. Y'all listen, listen. They say every prep is different. I've never experienced prep brain this early into the season where I ordered these post-it notes and I needed these because the prep brain, she's giving goldfish. She's giving, if I don't write this down on a post-it note, it's going to be forgotten. Y'all, if you're a coffee drinker, let me know in the comments. I drink my coffee black and listen, it's the little things that make me smile. Okay, so we got some coffee. We got our list. Um, So the big thing today, content stuff that I want to shoot for, so you know, Vanessa and I, who I showed you guys yesterday, she and I kind of work together on a lot of the content that you guys see me put out. So some of the things I shoot, some of the things she shoots. So it's like a team kind of thing that we do together. So I got some, a shot list of stuff I need to get to her today. I got some stuff I'm doing for me today, which I'm actually really excited about. I got these, I'm gonna see if I can post some photos of me in them. Um, these, I'm gonna see if I can post some photos over here of me in them. But y'all, I got these Amazon flare pants. I have been living in, okay? Just for a little bit, because you know I'm in Texas. It's gonna be hot as hell here in a minute. But until that happens, y'all, I love these pants. So I'm gonna do some try on haul videos for that. And posing suit outreach. So I think I shared with you guys, I won't be using the same suits that I wore last 
season, the yellow and the orange, by the time this video releases, you would have seen all the suits. Um, I'm going a completely different color palette. I've actually never worn, I've never worn this color on stage before, which is crazy to me because it's one of my favorite colors. If you know me, that probably gave it away. You already know what it is. But for y'all that don't, stay tuned and see. I'm going to reach out to the posing suit company today because when we talked, I we were talking back in like June, July. No, y'all. We were talking in January and I was asking them, I was telling them when my shows were and I was just like, okay, when should I reach out? And they said April will be a perfect time to start. So I'm going to chat with them, see what I got going to either put a deposit down, start getting a suit going because what we're not going to do is go through the whole suit debacle that we went through last year. Y'all, it was, it was a nightmare. I don't think I've actually shared with y'all what happened with the suits. If y'all care to see that, let me know. If y'all want the tea on all the suits that happened last year, it was it was so much it was so much drama. Okay, that happened. I was just like, mm -mm, we ain't focused on this. I talked about it in my stories, and a lot of y'all reached out to me then. And was just like, calm down, don't worry about it. Sis was pressed. Sis was worried. Um, so yeah, I could talk about that. Let me know in the comments. And I think I am going to go ahead and wrap this vlog diary. Only because I want to make sure I'm saving my check-in stuff um, for what's going to be releasing here in the next couple of weeks. Um, but I'll give you a little preview, a little teaser. I will say, even though my coach does not ask my weight, none of that, I still do at least step on the scale on my check-in days. So I can just see, like, for, for me, for data purposes, y'all know I'm a big data nerd, what the body, like, is saying that it's weighing. And I know people are going to ask. Right now, I am 128.9. Don't know what my stage weight is going to be. So everyone asking, what's your goal weight? What's your goal weight? I ain't got a goal weight. Next question. Okay. So that's where we're at. I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this vlog on up. If you guys enjoyed the more kind of like prep vlog diary style, let me know in the comments. Y'all already know I'm an open book. I'm here to help you get through your day, get through your cardio, get through whatever. I just appreciate you being here. All right, y'all. On that note, I will talk to you later and I'll see y'all in the next one.